Hello, this is Aaron. But I'm so, I don't know what to do for intros. That's the weirdest thing. So I am currently, well, I'm currently about to go into my senior year at SCAD. I'm majoring in illustration. And so this sketchbook is my first illustration major sketchbook. So everything in this sketchbook is from some of my illustration classes that I've had so far. Well, here we go. So my first illustration class at SCAD was actually Illustration 218, which was a materials and techniques class. Our first assignment in the class was a no-tan drawing, which is just straight black and white. So I have my thumbnails for this project. And I went with the bird on the motorcycle. So one of the things that I really liked about Mravik as a professor was that he gave us weekly sketchbook prompts. So the first sketchbook prompt that we had was contrast. And then the second prompt that we had was to draw 50 things that we love. Our second assignment was to do a drawing in charcoal and then spray it with a workable fixative and then use watercolor paint over top of it. And I thought that this was a really interesting way to do things. I definitely liked my drawing before I added color better. I don't know if this was just me, I can't remember what specific issues I was having, but the paint was not working well for me. It could have been uh, the type of fixative that I used or something like that, I'm not sure, but I really am not a fan of how the colored version turns out. Our third sketchbook prompt was volume. Our next sketchbook assignment was not anything specific, it was just that we had to draw something every single day. And then the next one was to draw people's faces. And there's more of that after this. But our third assignment was to do a celebrity portrait, but I ended up doing Joji. We were using a specific artist technique for this, and I cannot for the life of me remember um, what the artist's name was. So again, the sketchbook prompt was to draw people's faces. And then the next sketchbook assignment was to just use materials that we don't usually use. And then the next sketchbook prompt was animals. final assignment. Our final assignment was to do three square animals and they had to be, be used as forever stamps so they had to work well on a small scale and they had to go together like I'll be farm animals or I'll be birds or something like that. So I did frogs. So I did the tomato frog and a Cuban tree frog and the Indian bull frog. And then here are the final stamps. And then the final sketchbook prompt that we had was to just draw whatever we wanted. Um, but by this point in the quarter, I mean, this was like the finals week, so I was really burnt out and I just didn't really want to try hard in my sketchbook. So these are not my favorite drawings, but they're there. <laughs>
Okay, now we get into, finally, illustration 100, intro to illustration. Our first assignment was to do a cover for The New Yorker, and it, could, it had to be about something that was going on right now, so I did a bunch of thumbnails for deforestation and the bleaching coral reefs. This is probably one of my favorite pages in the sketchbook. It's just a bunch of uh, baby practice. And yes, these are horrifying, ugly babies. I, I was not aware at this point of how easy it is to make a child look like a small adult. But anyway, so this assignment was we had to do a black and white illustration for a story. So the story that I did was The Water Babies, A Tale for a Land Boy. Our third assignment was to create a set of three posters, and the posters could be for a movie or a concert or a festival or something like that going on. So I chose to do a series of concert posters for the front bottoms. So I came up with this young kid wearing a devil mask that I used in all of them. So the illustrations themselves are done uh, with watercolor and colored pencil. And then we just had to mock them up, show how they might look on a wall or something. A short little day-long class project that we had was uh, he gave us a variety of prompts that we could choose from. So I chose the red eight assignment and we had to add, divide, multiply, and collage the red eight. And then our final assignment for this class, or I guess I should say second to final, was designing four characters and designing a story for them uh, and like a pitch for them to be in a book or on a TV show or movie or something like that. So I designed these three wizards and a human makes potions. I drew all of these with pen on paper and then I colored them digitally in Photoshop. Then our final assignment for the class was to take these four characters and put them all together in an environment. So I set up this uh, potions workshop for this uh, human character and he's like making them up something. I also do want to explain, you know, I'm, I'm going into my senior year now and at this point in my life I was a freshman and I have gotten quite a bit better I would say. Um, honestly, I'm, I don't know, it's not terrible but I, I've come a long way since right here so keep that in mind. <laughs> when you're watching this. And then we go into another illustration class. So this was my sophomore year. This class was illustration 160, anatomy and perspective. So for this first assignment, our class had to pick a room and it could be like a shop room or a bedroom or a kitchen or something. Uh, our class went with a kitchen and then we could pick something to do with the kitchen to give it character, to make this kitchen special so that you could tell like who owns the kitchen, you know? Also keep in mind, this was in the fall, so I think like five students in my class did witch kitchens, and I was one of those five, so. So something that you'll get in this anatomy and perspective part of the sketchbook. We did a lot of class exercises to try out different ways of doing perspective for different things. So that's what a lot of this is. Some flower sack exercises. Our next assignment was to draw people's faces from different perspectives and doing different things. Next up, we're just doing a bunch of gesture drawing. Uh, we had a model come in 
and pose for us. And at first she wore like a leotard because for some reason the illustration department models aren't allowed to be naked for some reason. So I have a lot of those. And then our one of our assignments was to find gesture images online and then use them to show the muscle structure in the body. This was another exercise that we had to do. Uh, we had to use perspective to correctly make a 24 foot monster compared to like its surroundings and the other people. And I messed up and I made an 18 foot monster. So for our final assignment, we had to take all that we had learned and put them into one final piece. And the only thing was that there had to be 10 characters and they had to be in different spaces in the picture plane. So some were close to the camera and some were farther back in the distance. And we could do whatever we wanted to with that. So I did these cute little frogs camping. Alright, last class of sophomore year, so this is illustration 351, a contextual character design. So first day of class we're using shapes to create a character and our pre-quarter assignment was to do a character of ourselves, so that's what this is. So our first assignment from this class was to draw 40 characters and then the final for that project was to pick two of those characters and do their hero pose and then do six other poses. For our second assignment, we got to pick between Victorian England and the Old West with cowboys and we had to create three characters and character model sheets for two out of the three characters. So I went with Victorian England and uh, we had to do a male, a female, and a child. And one of them had to be a villain. So I decided to make the child the villain, so in my story I had uh, this woman and her son who own a small like grocery store shop, and this boy is like upper class and he just loves playing tricks and pranks and causing trouble. And then lastly, as a part of that project, we then had to put at least two out of the three characters in an environment. I really struggled with this one because I had hardly had experience with environments and I just wasn't feeling comfortable because I was also working digitally and this was the first quarter that I was really using digital art to do my projects. So I felt really out of my element and I do not like what I did for this. And then I actually finished this sketchbook before this class was over. So that was my first illustration sketchbook as a SCAD student. I hope you enjoyed watching this and seeing my final projects, and thank you so much for watching!